Let's make our pet rock. This one's super easy. We have some yarn here for hair. We have these little glue dots. You can't see them, but they're flat there. And our googly eyes are self stick. So we're gonna do those first. There's just a little backing on there with like a sticker. It is kind of a pain, but once you get it started, you can see I started to peel it there. And I think he's gonna have a tiny eye on the left. So make sure you keep picking at it and that back will come off. And then I'm just gonna offset that one. Just push it on there. And then for his hair, I'm gonna go ahead and Peel off this clear part, and if you can see his little dot comes off there, you can actually stick this right on your rock, rub it on, and then you may have to hold down the corner, there you go, and peel this off, and then you can pick where you want your other set to go, I'm just going to put it right next to it. Rub it down. Alright, and I have all this yarn here. I think we'll do some green hair on this side. Just push it on. And maybe some purple hair but you have all the colors to pick from or if you want to wrap them all together and make one got some purple and I've got two little ponytails and then we're just going to take our paint that we used at the beginning I'm just going to dip my brush in there Give him a little smile. And I just want my guy to have a little smirk. You can even go with your paint too and give him some eyebrows. Or any other details that you want to add. Maybe a little nose too. And there we go. Your pet rock is done. Alrighty, we're gonna start by painting our rocks for our cactus. Um, we got some paints here. We got two whites, a yellow, a dark green, and two light greens. You can use the white to mix into your greens if you wanna make it lighter. I'm just going to make one dark one and two light ones. So I'm going to open those up. And then I'm going to start with my big rock. I'm going to paint that one this dark green. This will probably take the longest out of anything. Oh, I should mention that you see sticks glued to these rocks. That's just to help them stay in your pot a little better so you don't have to worry about them falling over. Paint the sides. You paint a little underneath there. You can even paint a little bit of your stick if you want. That way if it peeks out, it'll just look like more cactus. And we're going to paint all of our rocks one solid color and then we'll go back in and do some details on them. Make sure you get that covered. It really doesn't take a lot of paint to cover these. 
All right, that's this dark one done. It's got a light, nice hunter green color. And then we'll move on to the next one. Wash out your brush. We're gonna come back in with a lighter color. Alrighty, now we're gonna take our smaller rocks. One of these wants to be a lighter green. And same thing, just cover them. And remember, we're gonna add little details to it, so good. All right, we got that one. Just put that one aside to dry. All right, now pick up your third one. I want mine to be this light green as well, so we're just gonna paint that one all up. All right, let's see. That one looks pretty good, so we'll set that one over and let it dry so we can put our details on. Alrighty, we're gonna grab our pot here. I just got some tiny rocks. I'm gonna fill it up. You wanna do it kinda slow because you don't wanna break your pot. Tip it to the side, pour those in, let them settle. Shake it around so it fills it up. Can smooth them out. I can fill it up to about there. Then once you put your cactuses in, you can fill up with the extra rocks. Alrighty, we're gonna get our white and yellow paint out. Wash your paintbrush. I'm gonna grab my dark green rock. I'm gonna open up my yellow. And all I'm gonna do is take just the end of my brush and dip it in there. Wipe off the sides. We're just gonna do little V's. You can make them as big or as small as you want them. It's your cactus, so you can do it however you want. You can even go in and put single ones on there if you'd rather have just little lines. You can even throw a couple on the back. Probably won't see those ones as much, but. Alrighty, then we have our first cactus done. Just gotta wait for it to dry. Alrighty, I got my next rock, it's a little one. I'm gonna go back in. We're just gonna do some more little V's. Maybe do, I think I'm gonna do three of these here. And then I'm just gonna do a couple little dots. Kind of gives it a little more effect. Gonna do some of those down the sides. Alrighty, we have our last rock here. Just gonna go in, do some more V's on this one. And that's your third one done. And as an option, if you want, you have a little extra white paint, you didn't mix anything up, you can take the end of your paintbrush here, just dab it in, and I'm gonna go in and just give a couple little dots here and there. Maybe your cactus is growing flowers. And you can do that to all of them if you want. I think I'm just gonna do it with my big guy, just so he stands out. And that's all it is to the dots. Alrighty, now that we have all of our rocks painted and we let them dry for a little bit, we're just gonna put them in our pot. Now I glued these sticks to them, so you can just take one, and I want this guy in the back. Just gonna push him in there. That looks good. You can also take them out and move them around if you want. You grab your other one. I'm gonna grab this guy first. I want him to be kind of up front here. Just gonna. Push them down in. All right, go back and grab your other guy. I'm gonna put him over here. Oh, some resistance. Alrighty, that looks good. And then your extra rocks you can take and just fill in any spots that you want. I'm gonna put a couple there in the middle. The back. Look 
notebook. I can use one right there. And there we go. Well, hello kids. Thanks for watching the craft. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe.